Yeah, so you're, a lot of people after last week's stream were talking about wanting to hear, have the mod segment be a weekly thing. And uh, if I were at home driving the stream, I would show my account and we could kind of look at the mods on my team and kind of talk about the mods for that type of team and what what's there. If I got it right, I got it wrong, you know, those types of things. But uh, I did choose uh, Geonotions this week because I think that that is a team that if you have modded correctly, can be very good. Uh, even at certain gear levels, gear 12 is good. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're going to relic certain characters having GBA and Spy, even if you don't have the others relic, just those two alone being relic can cause massive problems for people. 100%. Um, even at gear 10 or gear 11, those teams for the uh, newer players are really good to have at those levels. And if you gear them right, they can be just ridiculous so uh we'll talk a little bit about um that team and what makes them special especially with uh especially with gba and specifically spy i think those two yes. are the one of the, totally some agree. of the more important ones as far as mom yep. goes so and something else about spy also um gearing him up he's got badass ship that ship is freaking yeah. ridiculous with that uh that force taunt so not to mention the damage output it is a fabulous ship mm -hmm. so keep it's that just in mind the it doesn't matter if it's a separatist fleet having that as your one of your backups to bring in can be massive for getting around houndstooths especially at low level oh yeah because that houndstooth at low level if someone gets it unlocked before everyone else they're going to stand at the top of the fleet arena for a long oh time. yeah so if you have a way to get around that, which is Spy's ship is a good one, and having him modded well helps his ship too, that's definitely a good place to be. Yep. So, so uh, I would uh, I would like to mention that. So we kind of did this out of just kind of randomness last week, and it was something you guys really liked. So <laughs> it was I, a lot of randomness last week. That's fair i'm not gonna disagree um <laughs> but we're gonna try to make this a segment going forward it will be a segment that is a little bit more visual and we may cut this as like a single-handed video for you guys to go back and reference whenever we do this stuff um you know especially like next week whenever we whenever we're able to have our screens on um but we're, we're basically going to go through, we're going to look at a faction or a squad or a specific group of characters or something each week. Look at those. We're going to see how GMP has them modded. We're going to remod them. I'm going to look at my mods. I'm going to reconsider the way I've got mine modded as well. So I think that'll be a pretty fun and helpful segment. Hopefully a segment that you guys could possibly watch and kind of follow along and get some ideas on how to mod some of these teams. So I think this will be pretty, pretty awesome. Yep. Um, All right. So let's let's go ahead and just jump into the bugs. All right. So why don't we start with uh, GBA and some initial thoughts on him? Uh, I think one of the most important things to remember with him is that he shares stats with the tank that he he calls, he summons. So it may not be the most important thing to load him up with protection and health, but it is definitely a uh, consideration because of the fact that we'll uh, beef up the taunt right? from his summon. It, it's um, only but, certain stats that he shares, though, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember which ones they are, but I know I'm pretty sure the health pool is based off his stats. Um... I don't think they've ever actually put it might be on Swaga. Might be something to look up on there if it's the summon. I, I feel like they stats. listed that somewhere. Maybe in his kit, perhaps? I I can't remember. Or maybe I'm just flat out wrong in thinking that. That that is a possibility too. I think that happened one time. It didn't happen recently, as we'll discuss later, but um <laughs> uh so GBA, 
there are a couple different ways that people kind of look at modding him. Uh, one of them is the speed. And the speed is really important, especially if you're trying to beat the Ackley mission. Speed is very important. He needs to be over 280, 285, somewhere in that ballpark. And still be tanky as all hell. So, um, that can that can be kind of difficult to get him to the, those numbers that you need for that. So I don't really want to talk about specifically that mission. I want to talk more generally like grand arena territory war and possibly what mission, because I think the modding for all of those situations is basically the exact same. What do you think? I would respond, but I'm currently digging into Swagaga's code for GBA to see if I can find the stats that he gets. He gives. Oh, okay. Um, we 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 don't have to worry about that too much because it doesn't matter a ton necessarily. Um, so I actually I have moved towards finding a slower GBA actually pretty freaking useful, and this is. For a couple reasons. You can make him more survivable. I actually run a protection arrow on him. Just for the increased survivability. Mine is gear 12. Um, I found that to be very useful. Because there is the shared stats. There is the uh, protection equalization. So larger health pool that you have. The higher percentage everybody is going to be. Um, you know when an equalization happens. Mm -hmm. Having a sliced triangle or sorry diamond on him is going to be really important because he shares defense defense obviously helps with the health pool and because of the tank taunting you do want that defense pretty high that actually does become pretty important so i i highly suggest that the arrow i'm not you can go speed or protection i prefer protection um but speed is perfectly fine if you want to go that route go with a speedier gba but i just want you guys to be aware that you can go with a much slower gba and still be perfectly fine because you increase that health pool and it also makes it a little less susceptible to a treya counter because treya obviously she banks when characters attack out of turn so the slower you are the less often you're attacking out of turn the more of a ratio of turns they get to you which is actually kind of beneficial whenever somebody's uh, using Treya. So um, that is something else to think about, especially if you're setting those bugs on defense. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Because, you know, I know in my case, it's bugs or... Bugs or... What are those people? Night Sisters. Bugs or Night Sisters, always with Treya. So if I see them, those, that's the first team I'm going for. When, oh yeah so it's a good idea if you're modding them specifically for pvp and not for getting watch shards right the best way to mod would be to try to counter that counter to them yep. well um, what's funny that is that would really hurt your what mission too much i actually think it makes it easier i've been running the high Protection. I have four protection primaries on GBA, and ever since I started running that protection arrow, I have found that Watt mission to be much easier. Like, I almost have zero issues, because Brute almost, like, he never dies, and it's so much more difficult to kill GBA, and it's not like they're doing damage anyway. Do you really need the extra speed? You don't. Um, you can still get plenty of turns, because... Geo uh, Soldier is kind of the engine of the team as far as taking turns and making things happen. And then you can have Spy come in and just nuke people. You don't even need that much speed. You need everybody to just... You need Brute to stay there soaking up damage while everyone else does, you know, their specific task. Right. Yep. I'm with you. So, so um... What did we say for circle? Is it protection or health? Because I've seen both. Protection across the board. I don't think there's any reason to go with health. Um, I mean, the the damage that Treya does is based on your health. So there you'd want to mitigate health, increase protection. 
you know, any squad that does percent health damage. Another scenario where it matters have a higher ratio of protection to health. I don't. I, I'm not sure. I see any argument for going with a health circle. Um, the triangle plus and circle should all be protection primaries, in my opinion. Gotcha. If there if there are arguments otherwise, I would certainly like to hear them. But um, as of now, I the I only don't reason I it. asked because I'm kind of doing this live as we talk about it in uh, Discord. A lot of people use the crouching rancor. Uh, bot for mods okay and for gba it lists a tenacity cross health triangle circle protection so i was kind of trying to figure out what they were going for there hmm interesting yeah mm -hmm. yeah beats Only me reason I asked, um, so. oh and that well something you did mention actually brings up a good point whenever you talk about sets you are gonna because of all the reasons i mentioned the protection to health ratio Defense sets are going to be more valuable than health sets on GBA and kind of bugs in general. Uh, jack that defense up to mitigate the amount of protection you're losing and mitigate the effects of exposed damage over time, etc. So, um, defense Random sets are great. Random mod thought that I had this week. Okay. Oh, why, was, why are there health primaries but not protection primaries? Or sets? sets um i i would say it's because mods came out before protection but no that's not true protection, protection <laughs> came out before mods um yeah i don't know that's a good question um so uh, just something i was thinking about this week because i'm like some of those teams you really want protection over health like this one and those I, protection mods might actually end up being really good for this team except so, they don't exist so. i kind of think the reason that they did that is for the same reason they've buffed health mods as much as they have here in the past year or so uh before protection was the only thing to go with so if you have had protection along with a protection set bonus protection would have just been so so valuable you know it was already incredibly valuable and they mm -hmm. kind of tried to mitigate that. So it's kind of the same thing they did with offense sets where crit damage sets were just so much better than the offense. There was no reason to ever use an offense. And then they changed it up. And now we're kind of at a point where there is pretty good equilibrium there based on kits. So. Gotcha. All right. Well, there's that. Let's move on to spy. And, uh, oh yeah. Most important in my opinion. I 100% agree. Um, and honestly, if I am doing a relic tier list, Spy is going to be the number one to relic because he is the one that will absolutely screw a counter. Um, he's, he's just a freaking machine. That first special is just nasty. It, it is. It's crazy freaking good. And the reason that that one is so good... Um, all right, so... There's a couple parts to his kit that really affect how he needs to be modded. So, here, Geo Spy, he gains stealth for three turns at the start of a counter and whenever he scores a critical hit. So, scoring critical hits, very important. Um, whenever a Geo ally inflicts a debuff on an enemy, Spy gains 35% turn meter. Okay? So... That, that alone, with all the debuffs that are going on, tells us he doesn't need much speed and he needs to land crits. Now, the special that you mentioned, Silent Strike, this is especially important because he needs to be stealthed. Because if he is stealthed when he uses this ability, he dispels all status effects on himself and the target and deals 40% more damage for each effect dispelled. So that means you can get a lot of damage, especially versus teams that have a lot of buffs, a lot of debuffs. Um, he will have multiple buffs. This is the nuclear bomb that you want, but he needs to be stealth. So he needs to crit in order to get stealth. And then you can use the turn mirror to just kind of build him up and get there. Um, any, any thoughts on Spy from the kind of key points I mentioned? Uh, just keeping in mind uh, damage. Damage is good to have as secondaries on him. 
100%. Uh, where you can get him. Because the more yep. damage you add onto that, even if he doesn't have quite as many buffs, the more he has, 40% of that damage is going straight into that attack. So buffing up the damage, buffing up his crit chance, uh, got to keep in mind as well that he has a crit chance up on his basic. So as long as he's getting that up and keeping it on himself, you're going to have a really good there. So I don't remember what percentage crit chance up gives you, but I think it's, you probably want to get it's 15 or 25. Or it's that low. I thought it was 50 percent. Yeah, no, it's it's not quite that high. Um, I can't remember which one it is, but either way, if it's it's let's say 20 percent, if you get them up to near, you know, 50, 60 percent, you're almost you're you're having a good chance of critting every time there. Well, so he's he's a character that has pretty high crit chance, and the thing I like about him is his kit just basically tells you how to mod him so well. So, um, you can go with uh you know, offense and crit chance secondaries. Like, those are going to be so important. Like, on him, you're not going to worry quite as much about the survivability stuff because he's stealthed most of the time, so you don't really have to worry about it. Um, yeah, but so that his, does... His special attack is... His special attack doesn't do special damage. It's physical damage. And at gear 13, his physical crit chance is 53.71%. So he's already... At fifty percent, with the crit up, he's already moving up to seventy percent. And if you get those secondaries on him, he's going to move up. Uh, but uh, also, I think uh, Geo Soldier adds some crit chance um, in general to uh, two bugs, so he gets that bonus. And then, like you mentioned, he already has pretty high base crit chance. So if you can throw like a crit chance set on him, look for some decent crit chance secondaries. And then, of course, go with either an offense or a crit damage set with a crit damage primary. Three offense primaries, you'll be in a good spot. Um, yeah, he'll be. He'll just be nasty. That that's Especially the way I'm. Relic. Yes, and uh, I don't have a strong opinion either way on offense versus crit damage sets on him. Go whichever way you want. I go with an offense set to mitigate the downside if he doesn't crit. If it's against. Uh, you know, like Treya, for example, which is a common counter, has anti-crit chance, basically. So that's something to keep in mind there. But um, you, you definitely have a lot of options. So I run, I run crit damage, crit chance mods on him, and he's at 68% with an added 20% crit chance. Not too shabby. It's like your 12 so mine is gear 12.5 exactly mine has a 76 percent crit chance i've added 29 percent uh from mods um that is a crit chance set and then i have a few mods with pretty damn good secondary crit chance obviously i mean i think i have that's four nine percent has... at least he has four mods with 3.8% secondary crit chance and then another with 6% secondary crit chance. So um, no. that that is the stat. I like. I care more about crit chance than I do speed. I care more about it than survivability or defense or anything else. Even offense, I care more about the crit chance. The crit chance is the most important thing on GeoSpy. Um, so keep keep that in mind whenever you're modding your bug. I think more just like touching some small points on the other guys. Uh, if you're looking at Geo Spy's kit and all the debuffs and the buffs that you're doing with this uh, team, something you want to make sure is that at least Sunfock and Sunfock and what's his face Poggle have a decent amount of potency, even if it's not like from a a primary. Plus, trying to get the potency on them if they need it to be high enough because those dots, or not dots, but the debuffs are going to buff your spy's damage. Um, not to mention having the crit, or not crit up, but the offense up from spy. Does he spread that around? Is he just, or not spy, soldier? Does he give that to everyone or is it just him? 
Um, I think it's just him that gets it. Let's go see. Geospun. Um. Oh, no. It's Poggle that gives offense up, and he gives it to everyone. Yeah. So, Poggle and Sunfire both have abilities that do uh, debu a good amount of debuffs to the other side, and you want, A, for them to hit those, but as well as you get those buffs on your side so that that yes. spy is basically becomes a nuclear bomb. 100%. Um, the, the only thing and I will Soldier say is... Just is uh, on Sunfock, he actually doesn't need potency because he he dispels buffs with his basics, so he's not going to be inflicting any debuffs. His second special does a lot of debuffs, though. Oh yes, yes it does. Um, like stagger, I think it's like stagger, blind and daze. Yeah. Oh three. It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's three pretty really nasty for ones. sure. Well, I mean, um, whenever he does that ability, there's going to be more than that because he's calling all the other bugs in, but he himself does three, correct? Uh, but you also have Geo Soldier. Geo Soldier has the tenacity down on his basic, so that will mitigate the need for potency. So if you wanted to go a little bit more um, survivability or something like that with Poggle, you could do that. Although I did note, look at Soldier Kit, he gives fifteen percent crit chance to everyone, so you can add another fifteen on your, on okay, your spike. Okay, yeah. From that. Yep, that is that is pretty big, um, for sure. And stand on the Soldier thing. He's another one of those high offense guys, offense crit damage. Yeah. He's, he's just a beast. He, well. He was, he was one of the original OP characters in this game. He's not anymore, oh, but now no he's doubt. finally got a new place to be. But He used to be plug back and in the play, day, man. In the first year of this game, the guy on Cantina 1-1 was the highest damage dealer in the game besides Ray. Scavenger yep. Ray now. It used to be just Ray. Now Ray is the Galactic Legend. But Scavenger Ray and then Geo Soldier were the two back in the day. And he still takes that offense and does a lot with it. So uh, he has with a turn meter gain too, right on crits. Geo Soldier, yes, he does. He uh, yeah. he gains twenty five percent turn meter when he scores a critical hit. So he's another one of those characters where um, you, speed's pretty good on him. Like you would like some speed there, but more importantly, you want to make sure that. Um, that he is landing crits because he does gain that 25% turn meter. So you're going to be in a position where um, he gives the 15% off of the unique. So you want to get him to an 85% crit chance at a minimum. And you can even go over that because of, you know, facing Treya teams and stuff. You, um, I guess that's kind of a mixed bag. More turn meter means going more often. So it just kind of depends, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it just all depends on what you are planning to do with them, because for sure that uh, he's going to be going a lot on all the uh, yeah. call ins, and if he's critting every time, he's going to be going even more, which can be, depending on the situation, very good. Yeah. So this kind of has me re reevaluating my geo soldier and maybe wanting to get a little bit more crit chance on him. I'm at 79.47%. Um, I, I could get him a little bit more with that gear piece. Oof. I don't know if I want to do that though. Um, like I said, I would like to get him a little bit higher, but I don't know if it's worth the extra gear. Um, I, he is one of those that I think you could run, like a crit, ch a, 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 honestly, Geo Soldier. If you wanted to run all crit chance sets and then a crit damage primary, I wouldn't care. Um, just because I do think getting him to that eighty-five percent or more threshold is so freaking important. Because um, remember, every time any bug goes, Soldier gets called in, and that's an opportunity to gain twenty-five percent turn meter. And that's why in the Watt mission, I always use the special ability with Geo Soldier. Um, cause 
he always gets it refreshed quicker than everyone else just because he cycles through so many turns and cycling through all those mm-hmm. turns as quickly as possible is entirely based on his crit chance. So that is super yep. important. Will be very good for you in the Watt mission. Yes. And no doubt. Um, so... Uh, Anything else you want to talk to about bugs? Have you been going through remodding them? And if so, what improvements have you made so far tonight? All right, so I haven't really done it because normally I have the game on my screen on another window and it's very easy. It's not as easy on my phone, but I took some notes here. Uh, my Geo is only at like 55% crit chance, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on bumping him up. He's, he's one that I didn't really... I focus more on speed on him just to get him going through the in the TB. So I need to switch off health mods with speed on him that I have on him for some crit chance mods. Okay. And then hopefully get that crit chance up and then he'll be fine and not have to worry about the speed that much because of the fact ever anyone else on the team that has speed is going to pull him in and crit and his terminator is going to go up and I don't have to worry about speed on Geo Soldier at that point. So yeah, Geo Soldier is probably the one that I looked at and needs the most work. So that's probably the one I'm going to work on the most. Uh, okay. I feel like Sunfock, he's just beefy and uh, he's got enough uh, potency to keep land, the, land those things I want. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I put some tenacity on, I put some tenacity on Sunfock just to keep him from being dazed because that counter uh dispel is huge yeah with them. hell yeah that is um, an excellent but, point so i try to keep a couple tenacity mods on him if i only have one uh two set that i can put on him tenacity is a good really option in general on bugs i i cannot disagree yeah. with tenacity at all on them if you want to go outside of like a protection plus tenacity is what you should probably look at for bugs yeah i agree yeah, so I think that soldier is probably the one that needs the most work. Uh, I might change GBA's triangle. I think it, it right now it is a protection. I might switch that over. On um, GBA? No, it's uh, a health. Sorry, I might oh, okay. switch it to yeah, protection. Yeah, yeah but, there you uh, go. Those are the two biggest things because I like I like my uh, I like where I have Poggle. He does what he needs to do. I like where I have Sunfock, and uh, like I said, my spy is in a really good spot. So it's just a little bit of work on Soldier and GBA that I need. Cool. I like it. Sounds good. Sounds solid. All right. Well, uh, we will move along to this uh, this next topic. <laughs> 